This tree is special to Pamela Hansen. Students planted it seven years ago in honor of her son, Gary Hansen. I come and visit the tree often. Sometimes I talk to Gary when I'm here. Gary was just 16 years old when he took his own life after years of bullying at school. He come upstairs one morning and he had red marks all over his neck. I said, Gary, what happened to your neck? And he told me that a couple of boys had taken him and hung him up by the back of his jacket. Despite the bullying, she said Gary was always smiling and she never thought he would one day hurt himself. He hanged himself in a shed in March of 2005. Hansen is having trouble letting go. His ashes still sit on my dresser at home. Um, we uh, actually had him cremated because I couldn't bear to put my baby in the ground. The town held a community forum after Gary's death, hoping to stop bullying. After the attention went away, her husband had trouble coping with the loss of their only child. And I lost my husband three years ago. Basically, he drank himself to death. I've just decided I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm not going to let these other people that ruin my son's life ruin mine too. Hansen is now a crusader against bullying. The death of British Columbia teen Amanda Todd last week hit her hard. I would like that. Thanks. After hearing the news, Doris Schmidt LaRoche reached out to Hansen for help because her 12 year old son was also being bullied at his elementary school. And she gave me websites to look at and how to deal with things, and it was so helpful. The taunting and teasing has since stopped for her son Cody after school officials took action. But Cody has a message for all bullies. I want them to know that it's not just all fun and games, it's serious stuff. I don't want them to just think they can get away with doing that stuff and let me think it's just a joke, because I don't. Hansen says education and awareness starts at home. I can honestly say that bullying will probably never stop. But that doesn't mean we have to stand back and watch it happen. Nellie Gonzalez, CBC News, Roblin.